It's the town Walmart put on the map, Bentonville, Arkansas. And now, as Martha Teichner reports, a member of that retail giant's founding family is giving Bentonville yet another claim to fame. The first time I ever saw it in person when it came up for auction, I had goosebumps and I cried. And when Alice Walton of the Walmart Waltons paid $35 million for kindred spirits and carted it off to Bentonville, Arkansas, her hometown, with the intention of building a museum to put it in, the art establishment sneered. Bentonville? Really? I look at it as really more provincialism that caused that reaction and not understanding that people here can love and admire and respect and support art and culture and deserve the right to have it. The sneering stopped when Crystal Bridges opened in 2011. The most beautiful museum filled with the best art the second richest woman in the world could buy. Her fortune currently estimated at over $68 billion. The slight curve gives you the ability to see all the paintings Designed by architect Moshe Safdi, Crystal Bridges includes actual bridges. The museum is surrounded by miles of art-filled paths and bike trails, nature and art linked. Admission free, drop-ins encouraged. My motivation to do Crystal Bridges was all about access and access for people that don't have it. Diverse people, rural people. What do you notice about all of this? More than six million people have visited the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art since it opened, with 750,000 expected this year. Before the museum, was there an arts and culture tourism sector in this region? Non-existent, non-existent. And now? It's huge. In 2011, the only attraction in Bentonville's once sleepy square was the five and dime Sam Walton ran before founding Walmart. <laughs> there were no hip restaurants or coffee shops. These weren't here. The number of works of public art before Crystal Bridges, zero. Now, around 130. This definitely wasn't here. Bentonville's population has nearly doubled since 2010. The museum is a factor, and it's growing too. So we're, you know, moving down the valley with another, you know, full gallery space, 100,000 new square feet. Right there. Right there. Olivia Walton, married to Alice Walton's nephew Tom, is now chair of the museum's board. I think Crystal Bridges is sort of an artery of the community which is why it opened the Momentary, an art and event space in an old cheese factory. At night, it's lit up with the museum's mission statement. You belong here. Here is a portrait of Andrew Jackson, and he is nailed with text that comes from treaties that were signed with indigenous inhabitants of this land and were broken. This painting is a perfect example of, yes, it's a beautiful piece of art, but it tells a story, an American story, not a pretty one, but it needs to be known. The museum's collection is now 3,500 works, more than twice what it was a decade ago, so that the American story being told within its walls better mirrors the America outside. Art has become a part of the DNA of this community, and that's a huge transformation. For Alice Walton, Crystal Bridges is a work in progress, but one that illustrates the work of art. I don't really look at it like Crystal Bridges is responsible for this, but what I do look at is if you were sitting around a campfire and someone had to light it, you have to have the spark. 